What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the left, right, and mid functions in Airtable. This is very similar to Excel, but it's just a little bit different of an interface, so I'm going to be showing you how to use those functions and pull different text out of different fields that you want to. So, if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green and I'm the owner of Optimize IS and we help business owners, probably just like you or people, implement Airtable into their business, into, into their daily life and help them build out their workflows so that those databases can be more helpful in the long run. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so now to start, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying to pull apart this field over here with the name and organization of the contact. So to start out, we're just gonna insert a field to the right, and we're gonna do that. Right click on the banner up here, and then click insert right, and then we'll scroll down to formulas. All of these functions that I'm going to be showing you today, you'll use the formula field to, to do them. So if you just type an equal sign and we'll be showing you left, that function, right, and mid. So to start out, a, a very common way to use this is if we use like the left function and we wanted to get like the area code out of this phone number per se. So if I type in left there and then click left, and then I type phone, it will give me that. And a really easy way to figure out where your different operators in your function go is if you just click in the function, and then it'll come over here and it'll say left, parentheses, a string, a comma, and then how many. So we already have left, and then we have the string that we want. So we're referencing a field. So it's gonna be dynamic text, and then, we want how many. So how many is going to be the number of characters in that field that you want starting from the left. So we'll start with one, two, three, four, five and see how that works. And a lot of the times with this, it's gonna be trial and error. So you're gonna be trying out five and if you are like one character off, then you'll try six, search four and so on and so forth. So we'll try that. And that's perfect. So this will be area code. And that's how you use the left function. So that's pretty simple. And now I'll show you the right function. It's very similar to that. And to do it, you just come back down here, click formula and do equal sign right. You don't have to have the equal sign in there in Airtable, but I do like to use it. So I'll do phone again. And this time we'll just pull in the last four digits of the phone number. So here it looks like just one, two, three, four, and that should be good. Yeah, so we'll do last four. And then now what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to pull in the middle of that phone number out. So we will see if we can insert another column to the right here, make it another formula, and then do mid. So when we do mid and then we reference, let's see what the operators are here. So here we're gonna do a string, then we're gonna do which character you start out on, and then you're gonna do how many. So if we start out with phone, <clears throat> and then the next is where we start. So it looks like we're gonna start, at, if we just want four, five, six for all of these, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll try seven and then how many from there would be three. So we'll try that, and again, this may or may not work. That's perfect, so we got the middle, and that's perfect. So that is how you use those functions to pull out text out of a very static column that's always in the same formatting no matter what. And these are very useful, but if you wanna get into a more advanced use case, I'm gonna be showing you a little bit or of the mid function using like search and find. So to do that, say we want say we want the organize, organization and you have it in something like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert this right here and then add the formula and we're gonna do mid. Actually what we're gonna do first is we're gonna try to find what character this this comma is at, because that's one standard that's throughout this whole name and organization field is that there's a comma in there. 
So to do this mid function, what we're going to start out with is a search function. So we'll start out with search and we're just going to search for, make sure we have the right characters here. So find this string within the string and then an optional position. So really all you need here is these first two operators. So we're going to search for the comma and then we're going to add the string. So the name and organization and click save. So that's going to give us this number. And that's important to know what this like middle function gives us because we're going to be adding functions around this to make this easier and more simplified. So that's the start of the comma. Well, that is the start of the comma. We don't want to start at the comma in our function. So we're going to want to add two to that. So you can see there's a comma, a space, and then the start of it. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to add just a simple plus two here. So we can save that and then it's going to right align all of these and we'll have the start of whatever that name and organization is. So now when we do the mid function, we'll throw that in there. And this is going to be the start. So let's come back in here and see where do we want to start. So start is the second operator. The first operator, we want this name and organization in there. Then the next thing we need to do is figure out the count. So to do this, we'll add a comma at the end and you'll use a function called the len function or the length. So if you, you type in L, LEN, it returns the length of a string. So we'll do length of name and organization. And then you're going to say minus. And then you're just going to come back up here and copy and paste this. And see, because the idea there is you want the whole length of this minus everything before the start. So that'll give you everything after that comma plus two. So we will try that out. And just like that, we have exactly what we wanted. And yeah, that's how you use the left, right, and middle function. And you can do a little bit of a dynamic middle function. If you have more of an advanced use case for this mid function, throw it in the comments of this video. But I hope this was really helpful. And if you do have any other comments or want to say how you use Airtable and how you use these text functions, then I'd love to hear it in the comments. And also, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share it with a friend who can also use these tips to get started with these text functions. But without further ado, I hope you have a great day and keep watching for the next suggested Airtable video.